This is about 1991. In Poland, we see an old woman named Anna engrossed in watching the news, but her dog is preventing her from going outside. She didn't want to go outside, so she opened the door of her house to let the dog out. But as soon as she stepped outside, we saw that the dog was barking as if it had seen someone. In such a situation, Anna brought it back inside. Now her condition had become strange. Anna picked up the dog and forgot to close the door. Taking advantage of this, a masked man entered her house. Seeing him enter, Anna becomes alert and shocks him with an electric gun to bring him to his senses. When he regains consciousness, he finds himself handcuffed. He tries to free himself, but Anna, ignoring everything, asks, Tell me, what have you come to do with me? The man replies, I know you. I came to meet you. Saying this, Anna goes to the phone and starts calling the police. The man says, No, don't do this. I know you. Your name is not Anna. You were a Russian and worked on a secret mission. Anna is surprised that the man knows so much about her, but she replies, Do what you want. I don't care. Meanwhile, she doesn't disconnect the call. The man says, I know what you found in Berlin. Hearing this, Anna disconnects the call and we realize that the man actually knows Anna's secret. He says, I know you have something special from Berlin after the war, something you were secretly transporting from Berlin to Moscow for a special mission. Your team was given this mission and you were the only surviving member to complete it. After knowing so much about herself, she asks the man, what do you want? The man says, I just want to know the truth. Hearing this, Anna starts laughing like crazy and takes out a small box from her cupboard, then sits in front of this man while opening it. She blows the powder from the box onto the man's face, and as soon as he smells it, he is left stunned. He asks, what have you done to me? Anna says, to hear my story, you had to be like this. After this, the scene shifts to the past, and Anna begins to tell the man her story. The year is 1945, World War II is ending, which the Germans had lost badly. They won the war, but no one could catch Hitler, who was responsible for this war. In the last few weeks of the war, we see Anna, whose real name Anna. She says to the boy, yes, I was chosen for that secret mission, a general and two soldiers, but no one knew what was inside the coffin. They were not even allowed to open this coffin. The mission was secret, so they set out for Moscow by road. Also, during this journey, they were not allowed to come in contact with anyone. As per orders, they set out for Moscow. The journey was very long, and night had fallen, so they stopped to rest. But before doing anything, they dug a pit and hid the coffin so that no one could find it, even if they were attacked by enemies. They retrieved the coffin in the morning and headed toward Poland. On the way, their car got stuck in the mud. To free the car, they got out and started pushing it and then they saw a corpse, which they ignored. They resumed their journey. As they moved forward, the weather improved. They become alert and kill their enemies. Anna tells everyone that they should leave, as there is danger and there might be more enemies here, but none of them listen to Anna. They decide to stay and bury the general's body. After that, Anna again suggests that they should leave, but the captain decides to stay in a nearby village for the night. Although this was wrong and their mission could have been compromised, no one listened to her. It is shown that someone was indeed following them. For the time being, Anna went along with them, but a little later, she realized that leaving the coffin alone in the car could jeopardize their mission. So she decided to go back to the car while the others went to a club. In the club, a girl serves them drinks and they start misbehaving with her under the influence of alcohol. The girl gets scared and was about to run away to save herself, but the captain stops her. She points a gun at the captain, and to save her captain, Anna points a gun at the man and tells him to put his gun down. They all think that he is German, but the man tells them that he is not German, but a regular citizen of Poland. He had heard Anna's screams and came to save her, thinking she was in danger. While they were talking, they heard gunshots from another room. When the captain and everyone went to check, they found out that someone had attacked with poisonous gas. The captain's soldiers were there and two of them had died because of the poisonous gas. Lucas, who had come to save Anna, says that this is the work of a werewolf. Werewolves are actually German assassins. They are not part of the German army, but work for the German army. Werewolves hide in the forest, keep an eye on everyone, and when their enemies come here, 
they kill them. Now, since Anna's entire team was from Russia, they attacked them, mistaking them for enemies. The poisonous gas they used was made from poisonous mushrooms that first create hallucinations in humans, show them bizarre things, and then kill them. Upon hearing this, Anna remembers the friend with the coffin in the jeep. She tells her captain that they should go to help him, but it was already too late, as they were also attacked by the werewolf. In this attack, one soldier survived, who shot at his enemies and killed one of them, but now the gas started affecting him too. He started hallucinating and seeing strange things. Before he died, the captain and Anna came to save him. Anna says that this situation is not good for revenge. We need to complete our mission. You are forgetting your mission, but the captain did not listen to Anna. In response, the man who came to save Anna, Lucas, tells the captain that Anna is right. You should listen to her. First of all, you should hide the coffin if it is important to you. The captain asks where. He says he knows a place where you can hide the coffin. The captain did not trust him, but he had no other option, so he agreed. When they left, the German soldiers arrived there. The German captain was angry with his soldiers because they were in a hurry to attack. They did not want to kill the Russians, but wanted the Russian coffin that they were hiding. They were also after the same coffin. The captain said that the plan failed because of your foolishness. We thought he was dead, but he was not dead, just unconscious, but now he had regained consciousness. He wanted to go back to his friends, so he snuck into the forest away from the Russians. On the way, he met the same girl we saw in the club. She was very scared because the Russian soldiers had not treated her well. As she was returning home, a German caught her, but she managed to escape with great difficulty. She thought that a soldier named Mikhail had come to take advantage of her, but Mikhail says, trust me, I won't harm you. I just want you to take me out of this forest to some village. She agrees and they move forward. Before they could cross the forest, the Germans saw Mikhail and started firing at him. Mikhail was a soldier and knew how to dodge bullets, but because of this, the innocent girl died. Mikhail killed one of them with a knife, but the other soldier caught Mikhail. The scene cuts and we see the captain, Anna, and Lucas on the other side. They arrived at a house with Hitler's body. The captain asks Anna why they are trusting this man. Anna replies that you are not trustworthy either, but still, I am with you. If we return from this mission, the first thing I will do is report you. You have broken many rules. They take Hitler's coffin and go inside. Unfortunately, a German saw them going inside. The owners of the house were an old couple and they saw the coffin and understood that there was a dead body in it. They did not want to keep a corpse in their house. The captain tried to explain that it wasn't a corpse, but they didn't believe him, so they opened the coffin. This war happened because of Hitler, and now they wanted to show everyone Hitler's body and tell them how he was killed. Seeing this body, Lucas became furious and started beating him. Anna calmed him down and said that this body is a big piece of evidence for us, so we need to hide it. Anna and Lucas hid the body in the backyard. On the other side, the Germans had brought Mikhail with them. Mikhail is a Russian. Seeing him, the German captain gets angry and starts asking about the coffin, but Mikhail doesn't know anything about it. If he did, he wouldn't tell. The captain, in anger, decides to ruin his eyes with a bomb. But before he could do that, his companion comes and tells him that the Russians have hidden the coffin somewhere. Hearing this, the Germans get happy and bring Mikhail to this house. They take Mikhail hostage and man the coffin from Anna's team in exchange for Mikhail's peace, but Anna cannot do that. Anna shoots the man who pulled Mikhail from the window, but it doesn't work as bullet only grazed his shoulder. In anger, the man stabs Mikhail in the back. Now, there was going to be a battle. They locked all the doors of the house, but the Germans attacked them. They also started firing, and the battle began. During this battle, Anna's Russian captain goes to the Germans. He was scared of death, and anyone could die in this battle. He was planning to trade the coffin for his life, the same coffin that they were entrusted to protect during the mission. Anna understood that it must have been the traitorous captain who did this. To save the body, she starts killing the Germans, and the German captain realizes that the man is telling the truth. Anna's companion, Mikhail, who was in the German's custody, somehow manages to escape. He kills a German soldier, takes his weapon, 
and bombs the place where the Germans were stationed. The Germans start shooting to kill Mikhail, but he manages to dodge the bullets and enter the house. But it was useless because the Germans had already set fire to the house. When they came out of the house to escape, they found no Germans outside. The back door was open, and the German car was already speeding away in the distance. It was clear that they had taken Hitler's body. Mikhail tells Anna that he heard them say they were going to the church, so they also ran towards the church. In the church, we see the German captain telling his comrades that they need to destroy this dead body. They need to perform an autopsy and document everything to prevent people from finding out the truth about Hitler's death. He didn't want people to know that the ideology they died for and the person who promoted it were now dead. They get ready to perform the autopsy. Due to this gas, these people started hallucinating. Strange thoughts began coming to their minds and they started deviating from their mission. At the same time, Anna and her friends attacked all these Germans. Due to the poisonous gas, the church caught fire. Taking advantage of the situation, a German soldier locked the church from the outside, trapping everyone inside. To intensify the fire, he was about to throw a bottle of liquor inside, but before he could do so, a man saw him. It was the same old man whose house Anna and Lucas had stayed in and who knew the truth that Hitler's body was in that coffin. Because of the old man's gunshots, the soldier accidentally set himself on fire. The fire on him spread to the church as well because the church was already filled with poisonous gas. Seeing the burning church, Anna ran away. She also destroyed the footage that the Germans had made. The German captain kept pleading with her to open the door, but she didn't. The fire quickly spread and everything was destroyed along with Hitler's body. All the German and Russian soldiers died and only Anna survived. The story now shifts to the present where the old Anna is sitting in front of the boy. She says that when she returned to Russia, the very people who had sent her on this mission imprisoned her. After six years, when I got out of there, I was sent to Poland, where I met my old friend Luca. All my efforts were in vain. The truth I wanted to reveal to the world that Hitler was dead, his ideology was evil, and he was a coward. I couldn't prove it. Now she mixes something in a glass and gives it to the boy. It was poison, which Anna had to give to the boy because now he knew Anna's story. Before her death, Anna opened a box in front of the boy, but it was not shown what was inside. However, we believe that it was Hitler's head and the boy must have come here to take it. The story ends by focusing on that.